Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our beginners video series on Windows Server 2022 here on MS Active webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to add a child domain in existing Active Directory forest. A child domain is a subdomain of one of the domains in your Active Directory forest. Subdomain segmentation allows logical partitioning of the active directory and also enforces rights delegations to child domain. Creating a child domain is similar to creating a new tree domain because you still are creating a new AD container inside an existing forest. First, let's understand the taste lab we will use in this video. As of now, we have single domain active directory forest name msaptivebcast.com. Currently, this domain controller holds all 5 FSMO rules for the msaptivebcast.com domain. This domain controller is also global catalog server. The AppQDN of this Windows Server 2022 is srt22-dc01.msaptivebcast.com. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command ipconfig slash all and hit enter key. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50 and a subnet mask of 255.255.252.0. Check the default gateway's IP address. 127.0.0.1 is currently set as a preferred DNS server's address. For this video, we are going to create an Active Directory infrastructure with two remote physical sites. First site at Surat location and second site at Mumbai location. In the real world, you need to have a WAN link to connect to your two physical sites. To create a setup for two physical locations with different IP networks, we will create two different IP networks so that they cannot communicate with each other directly. We have two more newly installed Windows Server 2022 VMs in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Let's go to Router VM. We are using this Windows Server 2022 VM to function as a router and provide communication between two different networks. In production environment, you may have WAN link, site-to-site -site VPN with Windows Server or professional VPN equipment to connect your remote site securely. The preferred option is to use WAN link to connect your two physical sites. We have two network adapters on this VM with the name Surat NW and Mumbai NW. Surat NW adapter has Surat network IP address 172.18.72.1 and Mumbai NW adapter has Mumbai network IP address 172.31.72.1. The subnet mask for both adapter is 255.255.252.0. We have modified the value of IP enable router from 0 to 1. 1 to enable IP forwarding and 0 to disable it. So we have enabled IP forwarding on this Windows Server 2022 to allow communication between two different networks. Our both networks can communicate with each other using this VM. Let's go back to SRT22-DC01 VM. We must create and configure Active Directory sites with their associated subnets. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. I have already renamed the default site for Surat location. As we can see, the name is Surat Root. Expand Surat Root, expand Servers, and here we can see a domain controller. SRT22-DC01. Let's create a new Active Directory site for child domain. Right click on Sites and select New Site. Type in name of the new Active Directory site. I have given name Mumbai Child. To create a new AD site, you must select the associated site link. 
A cycling is used to manage the logical flow of replication between two physical sites. Active directory sites are manually linked to each other using site links. We will select default IP site link for our active directory site. Click OK. Click the OK button again to create a new active directory site. The new active directory site has been created successfully. Now that Mumbai child site has been created, a subnet that specifies the site boundaries has to be created as well. As you we can see, I have already created a subnet for Surat's site. In our lab setup, the Mumbai network subnet is 172.31.72.0/22. Let's create a subnet for Mumbai Active Directory site. Right click on subnets and select new subnet. In prefix, type the IP version for subnet prefix which is 172.31.72.0/22. Now, select Mumbai child active directory site and click OK. We have created active directory site and subnet for new child domain. Let's go to third Windows Server 2022 VM. Let's set up IP addressing on this server. Right click on Ethernet adapter and select properties. Select IP version 4 and click on properties. Assign IP address 172.31.72.50 with subnet mask 255.255.252.0. Enter 172.31.72.1 as a default gateway's IP address. We have to specify the root DC's IP address as preferred DNS server address. Enter 172.18.72.50 and click OK. Click on Close. And let's close network connections window. Click on refresh. We can confirm that we have assigned 172.31.72.50 IP address on this server. Right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. Type ping msftwebcast.com and hit enter key. After looking at replies, we can confirm that this VM can communicate with the root domain and DNS name resolution is also working. We can now begin the child domain deployment. Let's install Active Directory Domain Services on this server. Type cmdelete install hyphen windows feature hyphen name ad hyphen domain hyphen services comma dns hyphen include management tools. Hit enter key to run the CM delete. This command installs the ADDS server role and DNS server role on this server. It will also install the ADDS, ADLDS and DNS server administration tools on this server. Keep in mind that there is no reboot required for installing Active Directory Domain Services on Windows Server 2022. The installation of the ADDS service has been completed. Go back to Server Manager Dashboard and refresh the dashboard and you will see a yellow notification icon on Server Manager Dashboard. Click on yellow notification icon. Click the link labeled Promote this server to a domain controller. This will start the Active Directory Domain Services configuration wizard. Choose Add a new domain to an existing forest and make sure Child domain option is selected. Enter credentials of an account which is part of Enterprise Admin Group. In this example, it will be administrator at msaptiwebcast.com. Now type user's password and click OK. From the list, select our root domain msaptiwebcast.com. Keep in mind that we have only one domain in our forest. You can add a child domain to any of your existing domains from your forest. Click OK. Now type new child domain name which will be Mumbai in this example. Click Next. This will take few seconds. On Domain Controller Options page, first select the domain functional label. I'll keep it to default Windows Server 2016. Keep the rest of the options as default 
while making sure DNS server and global catalog checkboxes are selected. The Mumbai Child Active Directory site is selected automatically based on the IP address of the server. Click Next to continue. This time, DNS delegation will be created on parent DNS. In our case, it is on msftwebcast.com DNS server. We have already supplied the enterprise admin's username and password for this purpose. Click Next to continue. Wait for domain NetBias name to appear. Accept the domain NetBias name and click Next. Again, click Next. Click Next to perform prerequisites check. All good, we can continue with the deployment process. Click Install and wait for the configuration to finish. This may take several minutes to complete. Once the configuration is complete, the server will automatically reboot. After reboot, we can log in with our child domain admin account and start managing the new child domain named Mumbai. Sign in to this server computer using the charge domains administrator account. This server is now successfully added as a domain controller for new child domain in our existing Active Directory domain. Upon login, server manager dashboard opens automatically. Open run menu, type ncpa.cpl and hit enter key to open network connection. Right click on Ethernet adapter and select properties. Double click on Internet Protocol version 4. Preferred DNS server's address is 127.0.0.1. This is the loopback IP address. And alternate DNS server's address is 172.18.72.50, which is the IP address of root domain's DNS server. Click OK. Again, click OK and close network connections window. Next, we want to check the status of Active Directory replication between these two domain controllers. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand Sites, Expand Mumbai Child, Expand Servers, Expand Mum CDC 01. Click on Enter DS Settings, right click on it, All Task, Check Replication Topology. Click OK, right click in Free Area and select Refresh. Right click on Automatically Generated Replication link from DC01 to CDC01 and select Replicate Now. We get the message that one or more of these Active Directory Domain Services connection are between domain controllers in different sites. So ADDS will attempt to replicate across these connections. Click OK. This means the replication process is going on. We want to check the same on root domain. Go back to SRT22-DC01VM. Click on SRT22-DC01 and then click on Enter DS Settings. Right click on it, All Task and select Check Replication Topology. Click OK. Right click in Free Area and select Refresh. Right click on Automatically Generated Replication link and select Replicate Now. We get the same message that ADDS will attempt to replicate across this connection. Click OK. So we can confirm that both domain controllers can replicate with each other successfully. In our case, Active Directory replication will be faster because both domain controllers are in a test environment. In production environment, the replication process will take some time to complete. Now, let's open DNS Manager. Click on Tools and select DNS. Expand for a lookup zones. Expand msftwebcast.com DNS zone. Here, we can see the child domain's DNS delegation record. Click on Mumbai. Double click on NS record. Here we can see the IP address and FQDN of child domain's authorized DNS server, which is mumcdc01.mumbai.msftwebcast.com. Using this NS record, 
This DNS server can resolve the host and PTR record of shared domain. We also want to check the Active Directory trust relationship between both domains. Click OK and Minimize DNS Manager. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right-click msaptiwebcast.com and select Properties. Go to Trust tab. We can see incoming and outgoing child trust with mumbai.msaptiwebcast.com domain. Let's check the same for Mumbai domain. Click OK. Expand and click on mumbai.msaptiwebcast.com and select Properties. Go to Trust tab. We can also see incoming and outgoing parent trust with msaptiwebcast.com domain. Note that both trust relation type is transitive. So we can confirm that both domains have parent-child transitive trust between them. This completes the successful deployment of new child domain in existing Active Directory forest. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.